Welcome to Travel Scout Channel. For today's video, we will take you to Inland Empire, California. We will be going to explore Inland Empire and discover the best places to visit, things to do, what to eat, and everything that makes your stay here memorable. But before we start, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future updates here on the Travel Scout Channel. Inland Empire, California is home to a large metropolitan area inland and near Los Angeles. The former, the Riverside Enterprise newspaper, now the Press Enterprise, originated the name Inland Empire in April 1914. Local developers may have adapted the term inland, which derives from the region's location around 60 miles between LA and the Pacific Ocean to promote and highlight the region's distinctive traits. So here are some activities and places to visit in the metropolitan area. March Field Air Base March Air Reserve Base is a popular landmark for everyone who has ever been through Riverside. Along your way, you'll see a large number of planes gathered around a long surviving hangar with a striped roof. The hangar is home to historical military aircraft and exhibits related to the history of aviation. NHRA Motorsports Museum if you have a strong desire for speed, visit the Wally Park's NHRA Motorsports Museum. It will satisfy you by featuring everything from a 6,000 horsepower top fuel dragster to a short wheelbase, wall-seeking funny car. There are tens of thousands of unique sportsman entries. It also features classic drag racers from street rods to funny automobiles and several motorbikes. You may also get memorabilia from over 50 year history of American motorsports history including images and awards and racing gear, such as helmets, shirts, and ties. Living Desert Zoo and Gardens The 1,200-acre Living Desert Zoo and Gardens is situated near Palm Springs, California, about 15 miles away. This family-friendly place is a spectacular experience and a fantastic weekend vacation. A very important part of the Living Desert's mission is to protect the desert's diverse animal life while educating the public about the need to protect it. There is no better place for adults and children to learn about the magnificence of wild animals and stunning desert plants than this exotic learning center. Table Mountain Campground Situated in the San Gabriel Mountains, high above the busy roads and shining lights of Los Angeles, it has a sheer oak and pine forest with panoramic views and two vast meadows. Table Mountain has a variety of campsites with vault toilets, paved surfaces, and fire pits. If you don't want to stay the night or only want to take in the sights, there are numerous nearby sites to explore. California Citrus State Historic Park Citrus plantations in the Inland Empire are slowly vanishing, but this park still has rows of orange trees. The sweet scent of orange blossoms greets you as soon as you get out of your car to this 250-acre historical park. On the highest point in the city, it boasts some of the city's few remaining orange orchards overlooking the mountains. When you visit the park, you will get to see the impressive exhibits and films about the history of citrus in California. Big Bear Discovery Center The Big Bear Discovery attraction opened its doors in 1998 and has since then become the Big Valley's largest tourist attraction. It caters to more than 190,000 people that participate in exhibitions, weekly activities, and eco-tours. It aims to make your visit to San Bernardino enjoyable and memorable, while also raising your awareness so that you may become a more educated and responsible steward of this natural resource. Victorian Mansions at Redlands Redlands in the eastern part of the Inland Empire is a famous day trip destination for tourists looking to explore the sites, dine out, and learn about the local history. Orange orchards and Victorian mansions influence the landscape of Redlands. Many of the original mansions are still situated in this area, and Kimberly Crest House is one of the most popular Redland Victorian mansions. Temecula Valley Wine Country Home to more than 30 wineries, making it one of California's leading wine regions and the most popular wine tasting destination. You'll start to ask where the vineyards are while you pass rows of subdivisions. There are too many vineyards to visit in a single day. It may appear like there is a winery around every corner, but choosing which vineyard to see is quite a challenge. Skull Canyon Zip Lines Located along I-15 in sunny Corona, Skull Canyon Zip Line has been operating since 2009. All skill levels are welcome, including children. 
The company has an excellent safety record and provides the required safety equipment. Given Skull Canyon's exceptional reputation, it should come as no surprise that it's a popular filming location for several TV series and commercials. California Museum of Photography This museum exhibits hundreds of Zeiss Icon and Kodak Brownie cameras that tell the story of photography through the ages. Whether the display is contemporary or historical photos, the exhibitions are always of the highest quality. It comprises of permanent collections of photographs by Imogen Cunningham, Anzo Adams, and more. Mott Historical Car Museum Once a produce market, the barn that houses the museum was built by Leon Mott in 1985 from all restored materials. The structure is abundant in history and now serves as a car gallery, which houses a wide range of collections of vehicles all on display. According to the museum, it went about getting it returned to its former glory. Family members or close friends possess many of the vehicles in the Mott Museum. Upon entering the barn, visitors are greeted by decades of history from the Roaring Twenties through the 1950s. Deep Creek Hot Springs, Southern California Deep Creek Hot Springs, situated in the foothills of the San Bernardino Mountains, is perhaps the best natural hot springs in Southern California. Most hikers take the shortest direction to the hot springs and park at Bowen Ranch. From the parking area hike about two miles to reach the hot springs. Just remember the trail downhill and the climb back out are almost all uphill. So bring plenty of water for the hike because you will surely need it. Silverwood Lake Silverwood Lake State Recreation Area is set high in the heart of San Bernardino National Forest, seizing the imagination with vistas of snow-capped mountain peaks reflected on a grand lake that the 249-foot Cedar Springs Dam formed. Silverwood Lake consists of two swimming beaches plus 13 miles of paved hiking and bicycling trails that include a point of entry to the crown jewel of America's scenic trails, the 2,650-mile Pacific Crest Trail. Western Science Center, Helmut, California Western Science Center in Helmut, California is not totally the Natural History Museum, but it's definitely worth visiting. Many of the artifacts on display were discovered when nearby Diamond Valley Lake, the largest artificial reservoir in Southern California, was under construction. You will get to see the exhibits in the main hall and several side rooms. The highlights are life-size works of mammoths and mastodonts displayed at the main entrance. Also in the gallery is a converted quarry that displays the bones of a 50,000-year-old mastodon. So what do you think of our video? Please comment below and don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for more future updates here on Travel Scout Channel. Thank you for watching.